So here, any kind of angioedema, hypertension, worsening kidney failure, uh, or hypertension is a definite contraindication to uh, RNA. But it has also been seen that the level of rise of potassium is much lower in RNA compared to enalapril. And what it also does show that when you start these patients initially with RNA and then start MRAs, the hyperkalemia associated with MRA was much lower. When you look at the clear contraindication is never start an RNA within 36 hours of ACE, any history of angioedema should be avoided. Pregnancy, lactation should not be used. Child puke score C, uh, again, cannot use. If the patient is also an Alzheimer's, do not use it. And if the patient has a hypersensitivity to either ARB or ACE, please don't use it. Now, the caution to use it is you need to have a GFR uh, of preferably more than 30. It's better to avoid initiating at a GFR less than 30. Uh, at a GFR of more than 50, uh, then you need to make sure that uh, you can start with the uh, lowest dose and then go up. In a uh, moderate child puke B score, again, you need to start half the dose, that is 25 milligram twice daily. But in the puke A score, there is no reason to have any kind of drug adjustment. Renal artery stenosis is again a relative uh, contraindication. A blood pressure less than 100 symptomatic, again, is a contraindication. And obviously, anybody with a volume depletion. Drug interactions, it cannot be given with ACE, cannot be given as Skyrin, should not be given potassium sparing diabetics, cannot be used with NSAIDs, lithium, or birth control pills.